done repeatedly throughout this case. I will advise you that if you are in that courtroom, uh, because I have put you there and you have not reclaimed uh, the right to be present by number one, asking and then um, expressing a willingness to conduct yourself consistently with the quorum and respect inherent in the concepts of courts and judicial proceedings, you will remain over there. And it looks like he took his headphones off, so I would. Mr. Brooks, I'm advising you that if you fail to call a witness, you will forfeit your right to pr present any additional witnesses. And I'm doing this outside the presence of the jury right now for a reason. I need to know from you right now, you are unmuted. Who is your next witness? Mr. John Faison. What you trying to say? That was very disrespectful, sir. You chose to take off your headphones. Yeah, you choose to I'm read. muted. I'm muted. So why, why am I going to have my headphones on and I'm muted? Well, I would think your headphones help you hear. The they muting do. is so that I don't have to hear the disruptions. Okay, well, then why should I need to hear what so you So let say? me be clear, sir. And you, you are not. be clear or nothing. I don't got to listen to you. I will ask you one last time, sir, who is your next witness? First of all, is she talking to me again? He, this, so we, gotta keep doing, we gotta keep doing this little childish stuff, dude. I gotta sit up here and I'm supposed to abide by every single rule, but don't nobody else gotta do that. The record should Judicial reflect that Mr. Repeatedly. Brooks is spouting off making unsubstantiated yeah. the can allegations against me. this court, Unless directly attacking the integrity of this court and these proceedings, while yet refusing no to answer simple no, no questions. Integrity. Mr. Brooks, you That's are- That's not my name. I told you I don't consent to being called that name. Sir, you are hereby advised this is the last time I will ask this question, don't, don't talk or you will like forfeit your right to present you any what, additional show me what, show me, witnesses show me where that's law. because show you are where not cooperating law. with this process. Show me that is law. That's all I'm asking. Show me that is lawful law. Mr. Brooks. How can, how can I forfeit not being able to have a defense? Are you kidding me? All I'm asking is that you conduct yourself with dignity with decorum and with respect. I will okay. gladly bring you back into this courtroom so you can present your additional witnesses. Right. But you need to ask me to come back into this courtroom. With all due respect. I'm tired of having this back, and forth, of having this back and forth with you every day. It's not my intention to it's come not in here my and, to come and in have here this and, and have this these interactions with you every these day. Interactions it's not with you every day. Regardless to what you may regardless think, regardless to what you may regardless think, regardless to how you may feel, that is not my intention. That is not my intention. Okay. I simply do I what simply I do because do I, do not I do not have the understanding. Not have the understanding. So if I don't understand so something, don't I'm understand going to ask a question. I'm going to ask a question. I apologize if it I makes you feel that. Apologize if it makes you feel that. I'm intentionally trying to delay the proceedings. I'm intentionally trying to delay the proceedings. I'm intentionally trying to be disruptive. Intentionally trying to be disruptive. Because that's not the case. Because that's not the and case. It, and I feel very, and, it, and I feel very, 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 very disrespected very, very every time disrespected the record is made. Every time the record is made. Making it seem like making that's what it seem I'm like that's what I'm do. attempting to do. So of course it's gonna so make it's gonna frustrate. Of course it's gonna make it's gonna frustrate. Of course it's gonna make me a little bit upset. It's gonna make me a little bit upset. And I just want you to understand this. What's worse than hearing Daryl Durrell Brooks, hearing him twice, again and again, some tech problems there. Uh, we'll we'll uh, spare you as we work that out. Karen Felicia Nance is here. Uh, Catherine uh, Lazardo is here. Catherine, you know, we're, we're getting to a very tricky point here from the judge's perspective because for her to just cut off the defense case, um, even if legitimate, and, and it's unfortunate she has to say over and over again, the last time, I'm going to say it for the last time when apparently it's not the last time, uh, she's doing everything she can to bend over backwards and let this guy present his defense. But at some point, if the judge cuts that off, I think there's going to be a problem on appeal. What do you think? 
interesting how Daryl Brooks actually made that point to the judge and it made sense. And I think the judge paused because that is problematic. How would he present his defense if the judge cuts him off in presenting his witnesses? So that was a good point for Daryl Brooks. But then again, what is the judge supposed to do when he's just spouting off? And it just reminds you of a parent versus a child. One last time, I'm going to ask you to do this. Are you going to answer the question or not? Why is this rule applicable to me and not to my other siblings? Those kind of things. And so the judge is really at a pickle right now as to whether or not she will impose what she was saying as one last time. She will cut off the defense or just take an early recess for the day. Yeah, you, I mean, you're absolutely right about that whole childish thing. Karen, uh, you know, you got a kid that you wish you could discipline. She really can't beyond, you know, putting him in these timeouts. But at some point, something's got to give. And, and, you know, if she has to, in effect, create like a terminating sanction where she's ending his case, um, not only could that come back to bite her, but we'd have to do this all over again. I totally agree, Michael, and I agree with, with Catherine's assessment as well. At the onset, the, there was a determination made by the judge that he was competent to represent himself, and there were um, 